Hey there, welcome to Old Man Runner. In today's video, I'm gonna review this, the On Running Cloud Ultra. First, I'm gonna take them on a run around Dublin, then I'm gonna stick them on the turntable and look at their specifications, then I'm gonna review them, and finally, I'm gonna see if I can recommend them. I bought the Cloud Ultra because I wanted to see uh, whether it be a suitable replacement for this, my uh, Cloud Stratus, which I've run over 300K in, I've enjoyed as a shoe, uh, but I wanted to see if this shoe is an improvement over the Cloud Stratus. It's still locked down in Dublin and we were restricted to 5K, so I took these to uh, some trails along by Bushy Park and the River Daughter. So let's go for a run and see the shoe in action. <laughs> enjoyed the run around the daughter. Uh, thankfully I'm not afraid of dogs. So let's stick the shoe on the turntable and look at the specifications. On running say that the shoe weighs 295 grams or 10.41 ounces. This shoe is a US M13, EU48 and UK size 12.5. The shoe measures 305 millimeters long internally. On recommend buying half size up which I agree with. In this size it weighs in the right shoe 369 grams or 13 ounces and in the left shoe 372 grams or 13.15 ounces it has an eight millimeter drop on say this about the cloud ultra the ultra cushioned ultra comfortable ultra versatile trail running shoe no distance is off limits let's review the shoe and see if it's true when i stick the light through it you'll see particularly in the tongue you can see the light come through and it's very breathable it's the same material pretty much for all of the upper. Uh, it's a comfortable material in, in the upper um, and obviously um, around the edges there's, a, there's some guarding down uh, for splashes etc. I particularly like this sort of um, protection for, for uh, this side of the foot, very soft, you bash yourself there, a bit of protection on the front and a little bit on the heel. Um, the tongue is, uh, well there isn't a tongue as such, it's a, it's a booty construction, uh, I happen to like that. I particularly like it in a trail shoe because of the it stops stuff dropping down or reduces it at least. Um, comfortable to get on, uh, the heel isn't as thick as I thought it would be, um, but it's, it's comfortable. A very easy shoe to slip on into. The toe box is, it's on the, it's, it's not wide, it's not narrow, I suppose it's average, I suppose the middle between the two. Uh, and these are a size of, these are 12.5 and on, I suggest on their website, going up a half size, in fact, 
I don't know, I've got four or five pairs of on shoes at the moment. They're nearly all a half size up. Um, uh, for, uh, 12.5 uh, UK as opposed to my 12. Um, but it's a comfortable shoe to put on. I think on must have an entire department dedicated to laces. And um, the laces are generally very thin and much thinner than other uh, shoes. But every single shoe seems to have a different type of lacing pattern. I think there's six pairs lying around, all with different things. I mean, they're all interesting. I mean, here you've got this lovely little detailing down, down at the forefoot where the, 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 the lace moves in. Um, and again, you've got the staggered, staggered eyelets. Um, you've got, uh, the, that, that's the Cloud Stratus, the Cloud Venture uh, waterproof. Again, you've got the stretchy piece, which is really good for tucking laces in when, when, when cross trails. Um, but it's got eyelets and then it's got fabric loops. It's got a little loopy thing down here. Uh, you take the Cloud Nova and it's got largely what, like pieces of string. Um, but again, you flip through this, the string attached to the side and a, another odd thing going on down here. All great, all interesting. I like the thin laces. Uh, sometimes on shoes come with two pairs of laces. Um, in this particular one, uh, again, with the there's no eyelets down the side. There's these fabric, fabric loops, eyelets up at the top. Um, but there's this flip release system. Now it's designed, well, I mean, I personally, I think it's a bit of a gimmick. Um, it's designed so you flip it over and when you flip it over, uh, the laces are looser. And then you flip it over and they get tighter. Now, personally, if this is going to be any useful for me, it would be more up on the midfoot rather than down, down towards the toe box. Um, I think if it was really useful. You'd see it on loads and loads of other future shoes. I suspect it'll be one and done. I doubt it'll make its appearance again. Uh, I think uh, out on the trails, I'd be more likely to adjust the top of the shoe. Um, I know that uh, Troy, who comments here, ran 100 miles without adjusting his laces once on his car on the Carmen Ultras. So I think this is a bit of a gimmick. I mean, it's nice that they're trying something, uh, but yeah, but they, they love playing around with the laces. The sole is where I think this shoe is really interesting to me. Um, it's got two layers of their Helion foam um, and, and the, the clouds, as, as they are, are smaller. Um, so they go less towards the forefoot. So if I look at uh, this to Cloud Stratus, they're sort of stacked up a, a half on each other, but then they sort of peter out here and I felt a certain, not weakness, but I didn't feel uh, I felt the forefoot was not as as uh, comfortable as I would like. Um, it was as if the shoe was there was a sort of break in it. Um, this they're more evenly distributed. Uh, as it happens, uh, the the it goes all the way through. So um, if I stick a chopstick through, you'll see that that this the, the holes go all the way through, but it doesn't go through the speed board. So down the bottom, um, what you've got is these are closed now. Uh, a lot of on shoes, they, they get criticized because this, this is often very deep. So if I look at Cloud Nova, you'll see exactly what I mean. I just took these off the floor yesterday and yeah, they're very deep and yet there's a stone stuck right in the middle of them. Um, and I think out on the trails, that's one of the reasons I like this shoe is the speed board is shallower, much less opportunity for stones to stick. Um, and they don't go in through the, through the, through the holes. Um, so personally, I think this is a, a, a much uh, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to get it as opposed to the, the Cloud Stratus. Um, the grip, again, this has got a deep speed board. Um, I think the grip on this is much better. On shoes in general, um, they talk on the website about grip. Uh, they talk about how this shoe isn't designed for uh, wet days, it's for dry days. And you think, Lord, it, doesn't, it rains, you know. Um, and these are a little s slippy. Um, I mean, they do talk about the, the, the rubber needing to wear in. Um, but they're not the grippiest of shoes, and that's why I think this is a big improvement, not just for trail running, but for, for road running and winter running and all the kind of regular kind of running that I would do here in Dublin. I really like the aesthetics of on shoes. Uh, yeah, I've said they've been playing around with the laces, um, but they're always trying new things, and, and uh, I, I really like the appearance of the shoes. Um, I love the, the little Swiss flag on the shoes. Um, I love the, the O and the N that are, that are in the eyelets. Um, yeah, I always think they, they make interesting looking shoes. Uh, these ones are, there's a lot of their little clouds along here, which might make it a little bit fussy, but functionally it works way better. So I really think that's an improvement. Um, I like the reflective detailing. Um, I've got another review coming of another shoe and you'll see even more reflective detailing, but I like that. I like this color. Um, funny enough, I pretty much like all of on, On's colors. They, produce shoes in a lot of different, really interesting colorways. Uh, these are called Limelight Eclipse. 
They're also available in a very nice black and white, but I've got a few trail running shoes lately that are in black and white, so I just decided to try and get these. And um, they're also available uh, in, in a lot of the on shoes have beautiful colors in the women's shoes that just wouldn't fit me. Um, but they have a lovely moss in Eclipse, so it's the same same uh, booty, um, but but it's a sort of lighter green, a really nice looking shoe. So yeah, aesthetically, I love these on shoes. When I went out running around uh, a starting Bushy Park, um, I didn't want to get the shoes messed up before I actually took the movie. So uh, you can see that in some of it, I'm, I'm sort of gingerly going through the rough mud, but I, I went out uh, ran out with the backpack with the GoPros and all the other stuff and the shoes in them and uh, wearing a pair of Hoko and a Clifton 7s that are a very sort of cushy shoe. Um, this shoe felt, as soon as I put it on, it felt much more firm, but nice. There's a, there's a nice even feel for me uh, a, a, across the sole and the landing and uh, much more so than the Cla Cloud Stratus. Um, and I think it is because of the distribution of the what they call their clouds, but essentially the, the holds through the helium uh, is much more evenly distributed uh, and I think has led to a better feel for me in the shoe. This shoe was designed for long distance trail running um, and I think it'll be good at that. Uh, it's not as fast as a carbon plated shoe. I could get it up to 21 kilometers an hour, whereas I can in the carbon ultra CTM by Kraft, I could get up to 24 kilometers an hour, um, but you can probably go the distance. I think the real advantage of this shoe is its versatility. Uh, I, I'm not going to be running very long out of the trails. Uh, what I'm looking to try and do is run in an urban area across some stones, some uh, dirt tracks, uh, nothing very technical. If I wanted something technical, I'd probably be running in one of these with this sort of grip. Uh, so I think this is a, a really versatile shoe and I think it'll probably make a pretty good urban combo running shoe for all sorts of distances. This shoe costs 100. 89 euro and 95 cent here in Ireland. It costs 179 dollars and 99 cents and it costs 160 pounds. I wish on running would get rid of the 99 cent stuff and the 95 cent stuff and just call it 190 euro, 180 dollars, 160 pounds. Make it a lot easier for people like me trying to review the shoe. Um, it's expensive for a non-carbon plate shoe. It's at the premium end and I suppose, I, I think it's worth it but, and I like on shoes, um, but I do have questions over their durability. Uh, and so if that's an issue, um, maybe the baby take care. I mean, these ones have 300K in them. They, they've worn a bit at the heel and they wear, wear a lot of on shoes, wear along here where the, the, the laces meet the tongue or the, the, the eyelets meet, meet the tongue. Um, these ones, I've got uh, 116Ks of running in these. I don't run very often in them, um, but I walk in them every single day on the beach. Um, and they've worn very badly back here. There's about 500 k's worth of walking in them and 100 of running. They've worn very badly back here and they're, they're, they're worn through here. But I, I, ran, I ran through a foot of seawater sea one day and perhaps that did it. They're still supremely comfortable. Um, so I don't, I don't really care about the, I'm, I'm not running in these for them to be waterproof. And um, particularly, I mean, I do wear them on the beach and you don't want much water getting in, but they're not, they're not, it's not like a Wellington boot. Um, so my only reservation with the cost of these would be its durability. Um, but it's a comfortable shoe. I like running it for me. Yeah, I think it's worth the money. I, I mentioned it before, the, the smaller clouds. And I think when I compare this to uh, other on shoes and for, <laughs> for some reason, I, I, I have a vague version of the Irish flag and on shoes uh, with the orange, the green and the white. Um, I find them really comfortable, particularly to, to walk in. So this is a, a car I used, used, I bought this shoe, the Cloud Nova. It's, I thought we'd be going on a lot of airline travel and very comfortable. I wanted a shoe to sit on an airplane and then run on a treadmill or out in the city when I got somewhere else. And that proved not to be the case uh, for obvious reasons. Um, but I used to do these for an awful lot of walk. They're, these are really nice to run in, but I'm, I'm pretty much walking them. Uh, as I said, I pretty much walk in these. Um, these I'm gonna downstream. I, I enjoyed them. I really, I think it's a, beautiful looking shoe. I love the, uh, the gray and the green. Um, but ultimately I, I, I walk a lot of them, but so I think this is a shoe I'm actually looking forward to running it. This is where I have bought this shoe is to run in it. Start of this video, I wondered whether this was, uh, this Cloud Ultra was an improved Cloud Stratus. I think it is. Yep. It's a bit more comfortable. It has a bit more grip. Uh, it's a little bit lighter, costs a little bit more, but yeah, I think this is an improved Cloud Stratus. Should you buy this shoe? Well, on say it's ultra cushioned, ultra comfortable and ultra versatile. And is it? Well, 
it's cushioned, it's comfortable. It's not e ultra either of those, but it is ultra versatile. I think that's where, I think that's really where this shoe is. Uh, you can run on trails, you can go long distances, you can run like I want to run on, on roads, then out in on an urban trail, and then out on rocks out to the south wall. It's great for that, go all sorts of distances. It's relatively splash proof down the bottom. It'll take some knocks. Uh, I think it's a great all rounder. Dare I say it, it's the Swiss Army knife of shoes. It's expensive, but it's nice to have in the armory. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you did, it'd be great if you hit the like button. I'll put lots of links in the description below. And again, happy to answer any comments that you might have or things, questions you want to know about the shoe, just ask and I'll do my best to answer them. There'll be a blue subscribe button popping up there and some associated videos there. Thanks for watching. Until the next video, just keep running along.